out, everybody. One, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten. She's kept all ten of them alive. So they're two days old now. She hasn't laid on any of them. I'm feeding her extra feed for nursing and this drench. What a good mama pig you are. It's morning time, the second morning. They fed everybody and trying to give Lady some clean straw in there and get the old stuff out. But she keeps getting in the way. Some cool facts about piglets and pigs, but the piglets, they won't poop where the nest is. So like back in that corner where they're at or where Lady is laying, they won't poop. They'll come out to probably over here somewhere inside the shed, but over in the other corner and go to the bathroom. And also, they all have their own teats. So they fight over their teat when they're born. And the ones closest to her front legs are the best teats. So those are always the strongest piglets. And I'm really happy my design worked. <laughs> um, when we thought they were gonna be born, there was like three foot of snow on the ground. So we had to keep the shed smaller. And also, um, we put that board across the back at a di diangly, sorry, <laughs> and put the heat lamp at the top so the lady couldn't get to it, but the piglets could go under there and she wouldn't lay on them. But actually, she is very, very, very careful and I don't think has laid on them at all since they were first born. She almost did and my husband pushed her back and then after that, she kind of realized. So now she's very careful laying down and getting up. The piglets will also learn to get out of her way too. One thing I wish I would have been ready for, and I will next time. I was just so excited <laughs> last time um, to have a scale here and weigh them as they come out and then check their sex. That little one over there, the little red one with spots, he's the runt. Funny how they already play and fight. <laughs> that little brown and white one right there, my daughter delivered. So she thinks that's her pig and she's gonna name it. I think we're in trouble. I wonder if she's counting them. <laughs> I accidentally erased my video from yesterday. So I did put the baby chicks in the in the chicken coop. I ended up not leaving them 
on the ground though because it was raining and cold. So we put them back in the box. Now I'll just get them out. I put their container on their on its side so they can still crawl in it and feel safe. Looks like everything's okay. Yesterday I filled in all of the all of the holes. I reinforced everything so nothing could get in or out. And the hens were already coming in here and they were laying eggs there. So that kind of sucks that I have to kick them out now. But I made them another nesting box. Hopefully they'll use it. Okay, I'm going to get these guys out. They're nice and warm. It looks like I'm squishing them and with the noise they make, but I'm actually just barely holding them. That's licorice. He wants in to see them. <laughs> he can't stand peeping. Lady went back in to nurse. She's talking to them. Lady, look what I have. Eggs. Mmm. <laughs> she didn't like her Brussels sprouts too much. Good night, little babies.